All right, and part two of our WBCB Player of the Game post-game interviews here following Hopewell Valley's 10 nothing win over the Nottingham North Stars being joined by our second player of the game, John Dieter for the starting catcher. Two for three on the day, two singles, two runs driven in. Man, uh, tell me what what kind of what were you seeing? Were you just waiting on a pitch you liked, or what oh, yeah. went through your head at them at bats? Yeah, I was looking at a lot of first pitch fastballs. That's what I like. Um, big fastball hitter, so you know, just trying to stay back, drive the other way. Don't try to get too much out in front of my foot. And when you see the way that Jacobs was pitching in that first inning, first couple innings, did that give you guys a little more juice going into the plate? Like, yeah. all right, he came to play, we got to play too? Yeah, that definitely got me pumped up, especially being the catcher. You know, seeing our pitcher go out, fire like that, you definitely want to go out there, give him a lot of run support, because if he's strong like that, you want him to get the line. Got a lot of zip on his pitches today too, didn't he? Yeah. You know, from our vantage point, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to see what that all-speed pitch was. Is that a slider or curveball? Curveball. All right, and it looked like he did a really nice job commanding that outside corner with the fastball and the all speed stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, when he gets his curveball over the plate, he's very tough to hit. And uh, we've been working, we didn't work that much on the inside corner, a lot on the outside corner, make him drive the other way. And he had some really good pop on it. We were getting on high fastball there, sending a swing through on this. And, and it seemed like every time he faced a small bit of adversity, wouldn't that be a base hitter or, you know, the two walks, he responded right back with a strikeout or, you know, it must have been really nice to see him battle back every single time he faced a little bit. Diversity. Yeah, definitely. He buckled down. Yeah, every time. I don't think a runner even got to third. The whole oh, game. No, they didn't. Yeah, so, I mean, that's what we're going to need. We need pitchers to step up in big situations like that. If we can get them um, not to get uh, any runners in scoring position, get hits there, we're going to do pretty good. And, and you're a junior? Senior. You're a senior. Yeah. So, you guys, you know, this is the last game here. This is probably the last game of this deal with the upcoming construction. Um, you guys are pretty pumped up and not quite yet ready yeah. to see this coming to the next. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I definitely didn't want to see my season end on this field, especially with it. We're going to probably put a turf field up here, and we want to uh, put this field out in style. So and good. one quick question before we let you go, too. Uh, the pickoff there in the first inning was a pretty big play. Was that something that you saw maybe, uh, you know, tip Brian off that he needed to throw uh, over to yeah. first? Well, I'm not going to take the credit for that. That was actually my coach. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we like to work a lot of pickoffs, and that was big because get to, that was, they had momentum with the first batter on, O2 oh, down right. that single. So getting him out on the base pass is real good. Well. Absolutely. Well, uh, John, great effort from you today and a uh, great effort from your entire team. Best of luck on Friday against Hamilton. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.